So the world has been on fire this past week. Of course, we have the Middle East, Israel, Gaza, Rafa, bombings, accusations, tragedies. Then we have Lebanon with Hezbollah has been bombing uh, this northern part of Israel, causing mass fires all over the countryside, destroying multiple houses. And by multiple, I mean dozens of houses getting obliterated. Of course, hundreds of thousands of Israelis have been evacuated to the center of the country for their own safety. And for the first time in months, rockets from Rafah have been fired at Tel Aviv. That's not to say it's the first time in months that they've fired rockets from Gaza. No, that's been happening every single week. No, this is the first time they fired long-range rockets that were able to hit Tel Aviv. And people were running into shelters all over Israel. Remember, we're getting much closer to global conflict as these different theaters heat up. Back to the north, uh, it's been the holiday, the Jewish holiday of Lagba Omer, where people go to the city of Meron, to the mountain of the tomb of Rabbi Shimon. And uh, they didn't go this year, but they went the next day, which is today, and Hezbollah has been incessantly bombing Meron for the past few hours, and there are thousands of people currently there. Unclear if there are any casualties. Like I said, these fears are really heating up. Of course, Israel has been destroying southern Lebanon with all their bombs. Of course, only a few hundred or 325 Hezbollah terrorists have been killed by the IDF since the start of this war on October 7th, but it's a war. They are at war with Lebanon. And the U.S. has promised support if it gets worse, which is looking more and more like it might get worse. Now, China has been heating up in its region with the siege on Taiwan, surrounding it with six military ships and also plane, military planes flying around. Just today, over Japan, a failed North Korean spaceship that was supposed to send a spy satellite into space, malfunctioned and exploded over Japan, sending the J alert system onto all their citizens and them scrambling into shelters. See, it's a recurring theme. On the Russian Ukraine front, the city of Kharkiv do, does not have enough interceptors to shoot down all the ballistic missiles being shot at it by Russia and multiple dozens of civilians have died in horrific ways as Russia just indiscriminately just bombs everything with their ballistic missiles, which they get from Iran, some of them, anyways. As you can tell, the world is getting a much more dangerous place. And the real question that you have to ask is your city. What's going to happen to your city? We do have bomb shelters. What if a cargo ship full of Iranian drones or Chinese drones just pulls up to your city and in the middle of the night sends off a thousand drones and destroys your entire city? Does your city have defenses to that? I don't think so. I've never heard anyone discuss the scenario. But this scenario can destroy a city like New York. All it takes is one of those really big cargo ships pull up to the New York Harbor and then in the middle of the night, suddenly just start sending off drones. These are not your little tiny toy drones. These are 10 foot or seven foot long drones that can take down buildings. Are you ready? Because it's not just happening in the Middle East, it's happening all over the world. You're probably next. See you next video.